This is how we're setting our taco night up. Um, we're using all of these herbs and veggies. And for our meat, we're going to be using impossible meat. So off rib, Tony's helping me cut up the bell peppers, the red and green bell peppers, and Mexican cilantro. As for me, I'm just mashing into this um, impossible meat. Um, and basically, I'm just flattening it out, getting it ready for me to put the lemon and the lime juice in it. That's how I started off. Fresh organic lemons and fresh organic Persian lime. Take our little juicer. It was super cheap on Amazon, but this thing works wonders. I'm just going to place in the limes and the lemon to juice and pour over the meat. I feel like this process um, really helps to juice up the meat and to make it like more moist and more easy to manipulate. Not that it's really difficult, I just think that it makes the meat a lot juicier and of course tastier. The very first ingredient I usually add to anything is complete seasoning. 
very important in our kitchen. Now I'm going to be adding just a fairy sprinkle of Himalayan pink salt. I don't add much of that because it's very, very salty. As you know, obviously it's salt. Um, and also some garlic and parsley powder. Paprika kind of helps with um, making the meat look brown, which, by the way, Impossible Meat does a great job of doing that, as is. Uh, Cajun seasoning, I love it. This is tahini. This is also another essential for taco night. Parsley flakes. Oh yeah, and be heavy-handed on the chili powder because that is another essential, very, very important when making tacos. Thyme. Thyme is something that I use to season every single thing I pretty much ever cook. Thyme is, yeah, it's important. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but time is top, top three, top two. Uh, this is peppercorn, ground peppercorn. Grind it up on there, that's also good. Tony's job is done. Time to take over. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add all the stuff that he cut up into the um, <clears throat> into the meat. Well, only the bell peppers and the cilantro. Um, not even all of the cilantro, but just a portion of it. We're going to put it directly into the meat. But I save the onions, the garlic, and the parsley for the pan to like just kind of sauce up the pan first. You'll see. And y'all, I keep saying meat, but um, this is vegan. This is all vegan. Uh, that's what I love about this, but um, it really tastes like meat. It's hard to determine. And then like, what do I call it? Should I call it the stuff? I don't know. Start off with some avocado oil in your pan. Release the garlic. Listen to the sizzle. Your onions, your cilantro, uh, a little bit of bell peppers in there. It's all going in the same pan.
keep playing like this. We'll get you an angel. And look at how nicely it browned up. It looks perfect. Not ready yet. Uh, now we're ready to peel the plantains. Get ready to fry them. So sometimes we cut them like really, really small, dice them up into small pieces. Sometimes we cut them like french fries or little strips. But tonight I'm looking for like a chunky, good, kind of thick plantain. Oh yeah, Tony's job isn't completely done. He has to cut up the lettuce now and the avocado. I know it seems like a lot, a lot, a lot, but um, we're just like putting a lot of love and time and effort into every aspect of our tacos because taco night is like a really precious night. And it's not always on just Tuesdays. Like sometimes we eat tacos all throughout the week, like different kinds of tacos. Like um, <laughs> it's, it's just a, it's like a bonding moment that we all have together and we love tacos so much. Personally, I could eat them every day. I don't know about you. None of this would work out without avocado. Almost done frying up the remainder of the plantains, making sure they're a nice crispy golden brown. Pit, you like your 
not good? Mm-hmm. How does it taste? Good. Like you tell me you like yours? Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> Was it good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you like about it? Um, I like the cheese, I like the salad, I like this red thing, I like Mmm. I'm caught over. It's delicious. All in all, Taco Night was a success. I love when everybody loves their meal. Um, if you like this video, subscribe down below. And until next time.